In this video, we introduce the concept of the physical state. All right, chemistry is a field of science that studies matter and uh, its transformation. Now, uh, matter, of course, is composed ultimately of atoms, and uh, that is the body of chemistry. We, we study atoms. Uh, but in this course, we're going to be concerned with thermodynamics. And thermodynamics is uh, a field of science that really studies bulk systems, right? So we're gonna have to try to make a distinction between those two fields, right? So on the one hand, we have uh, the atomic level, level of atoms, if you want. And then on the other hand, we have the level of bulk matter, right? So this will be a mi microscopic sample. This is a microscopic sample, right? So again, the, something that is gonna be key in this course is to recognize that even though we're going to be studying bulk matter uh, most of the time, uh, all of the properties of that bulk matter are going to be manifestation of the atomic level details of that matter, right? So when you think about a sample of ice, right, uh, that's just pure water, but it's pure water that is arranged in a way uh, uh, that you generate a crystalline structure, right? So, so there's some properties of the bulk water uh, in terms of strength or perhaps heat capacity or maybe enthalpy and those are uh, can be traced back to the atomic level ordering and the atomic constituents of that ice okay so that is good that, that interplay between the atomic level and the macroscopic level is going to be something that we're going to be exploiting quite a bit uh, in this course again uh, uh, before we all go on it's important to remember that uh, even though we're, it's going to be looking like we're concentrating only on bulk matter microscopic samples, in the end, uh, that's just going to be a manifestation of microscopic atomic level behavior. All right, great. So uh, uh, in every problem, or everything that we do in thermodynamics, it will be very important to define what we call uh, the physical state uh, of the sample. And that is just the set of conditions that the sample is in, right? So you have to specify uh, five variables to uniquely determine what the physical state is, okay? The one is amount. The first one will be amount. And there's various ways to do this. In chemistry, we like to use moles, but you can also use a mass, okay? There are some uh, so substances for which the molar mass is not known, and this could be maybe a large protein or a polymer or a molecule with undefined uh, co uh, composition, right? So you can't use moles because that requires knowledge of the molar mass. In that case, you would use mass. Okay, so either one of these will work. Now, you also have to specify the volume. Now, uh, notice that the volume is also quite uh, simple to specify. Uh, this is just uh, uh, the three-dimensional space that the sample uh, is in, right? Generally, samples are going to be in a container, so this may be the volume of the container or the volume of the container occupied by the sample. Uh, a note on units, and that is that uh, the SI unit of volume would be length cube, but because the uh, base SI unit of length is the meter, then the SI unit is cubic meter. And this will be a little troubling because generally in chemistry we're interested or we're, we're accustomed to using liters or even milliliters, right? So it's quite important for you to know how to transform from cubic meters to liters, milliliters, and so forth. Okay, so those, uh, those are two of the five uh, variables that you need to specify uh, in order to uniquely determine the physical state. Uh, let's continue with uh, the rest. There's also going to be the pressure, and we're going to dedicate uh, uh, future videos to talking about the pressure in this introductory uh, chapter, so we're not going to talk about it just now. And then uh, the other one that you have to specify is the temperature, and again, we'll also uh, devote uh, separate videos to temperature, much as with pressure. And lastly, we have to specify also uh, the state of matter, right? So the state of matter is something different from the physical state. The state of matter is simply uh, the, uh, 
the state that, that matter is in, right? So uh, in general, we only are going to distinguish uh, between three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Uh, that's going to be the limit of uh, our, our work with states of matter in this course. Now notice that specifying the state of matter in addition to amount, volume, pressure, and temperature is important because the properties of a sample depend on the state of matter. If you think about pure water, right, the properties of that pure water, uh, they change if that pure water is either liquid or ice, right? So, so writing a problem that you have five grams of water makes no sense or, or is, is not use, useful, is much more useful when you have, when you say, I have five grams of water in the liquid phase or I have five grams of ice, right? That, that uh, specifies uh, the physical, physical state uh, much better and in addition you will have to specify what the volume and then pressure and temperature is. Okay, so uh, anyways that is uh, the introduction to uh, the physical state and uh, again you have to do this for every problem. Uh, every problem is going to have to tell you what the physical state of the sample is or it can ask you questions about that physical state. In the next few videos then we're going to try to explain a little bit better uh, these two components of the physical state which will be very important and that is going to be the pressure and the temperature.